Hey folks, we got a treat for you this week on Tractor Tales. We're headed to Iowa to check out the Lamar's Toy Store, just in time for holiday shopping. It may be one of the largest farm toy stores in the entire country, right here in Lamar's, Iowa. Between the store and downtown Lamar's and several warehouses, Albert Schultz says he has over 20,000 pieces of farm machinery, making it one, if not the largest, diversified offering of farm toys in the U.S. Now there are people that do sell more of one of a kind item, a box toy, or maybe a semi truck or something like that. That's a specialty. When you say diversification, we are by far the largest. But what attracts customers from across the country is the unique restoration and custom fabrication they offer. We do about 600 customs a year, about 354 dental restoration pieces a year. He says they start with an existing cast model. And from there we start putting fancy rubber on it, uh, painting different, chrome piping it, levers on it, whatever we need to do. Schultz has 13 fabricators that work to make signature pieces for collectors that end up being family treasures. People want something more like they have themselves. So when you get into the customs, it's a specialty deal. What they're doing, they're building heirlooms for the family. Or they bring back their collection when they were kids, from 50, 60 years ago. Can you restore that old John to 60 or, or pick it for us? Yes, we can. And that's a cherished piece for them too. So that goes in their own personal collection. The Lamar's Toy Store also gives back by donating custom items to charity auctions for kids with cancer. A year ago, we built a tractor with a 40 20, uh, 1 8, about 35,000 on the auction. Most of our toys bring 10 to 15, 20,000 on their auction. It 100% goes to curing for cancer. So they're making lasting memories for past and future generations. Well, just one year ago, Mayfield, Kentucky was forever changed by a tornado that left a path of destruction. A year later, we revisit what happened that night, but also share stories of how the community continues to rebuild and find joy in the help that's landed there over the past year. Clinton Griffiths joins me for Christmas Comeback next. U.S. Farm Report is produced and distributed by Farm Journal Broadcast.